Victor Osimhen and Lille once again get a victory uh, and with an amazing goal in the 16th minute off of what I consider another sort of reciprocation. Victor Osimhen provided the assist for Jonathan Ikone's goal in the 1-0 win over Lille and Lille win 1-0 once again over uh, fellow French club Blessed 1-0 uh, with uh, Osimhen getting the goal from an assist from Jonathan Ikone. Jonathan Ikone, Jonathan Bamba, uh, and, and obviously Victor Osimhen are really forming uh, essentially the, the next future line uh, for Lille. Obviously losing Nicolas Pepe, losing Rafael Leo last season has left these guys a lot of room to grow, a lot of room to develop, and a lot of room to continue scoring a lot of goals. And with that, uh, you know, th this this team itself has sort of come into their own slowly but surely still. The managing for Lille is actually, I think, amazing because this this is a team that was struggling uh, the past couple of years beforehand in Ligue 1. Uh, they found the talents of Nicolas Pepe. They put together a team that is formidable enough to make a run into Ligue 1. Uh, maybe not into the Champions League. Obviously, they got uh, kind of an unlucky draw uh, by having Chelsea, Ajax, and Valencia all in their Champions League group. But this Lille squad itself has continued to, I think, perform very, very well in Ligue 1, and they do exactly that once again with the Nigerian superstar Victor Oshiman uh, continuing to grow and continuing to develop, and with that, they actually had a ton of shots in this game. The defense, uh, as well, was solid. 16 shots, 10 on target. They held breast to zero on target, so not even a challenge, essentially, for Lille to win this game. Uh, they didn't really have anything to worry about, uh, but Jonathan Bamba did miss a late penalty as well. I believe it was the 93rd or 94th minute of the contest where he was unable to capitalize making it 2 nothing but I mean when, when you when you dominating as well as as Lille did in this game uh, you don't really need it so I mean it was very very good nonetheless to see just how well that this team is doing and I think the the, the story for me of this game was I guess less Victor Osimhen uh, more of Renato Sanchez and Renato Sanchez has been uh, kind of a weird story nonetheless obviously was the one of the golden boys uh, of the 2016 Portugal European victory uh, was fantastic in the tournament as a super sub and as, as a uh, all-around box-to-box midfielder who had a ton of energy uh, he made the move to Bayern Munich uh, it never really worked out for him he got loaned out twice uh, and it just essentially just kind of went downhill uh, but here at Lille I think he's slowly but surely uh, developing into the mid midfielder that we once knew uh, and he helps so so much uh, with the link up play to get players like Ikone, like Oshiman, uh, uh, like Jonathan Bamba a lot of space to develop uh, and the, the essentially depending on the formation that's chosen for Lille uh, which is uh, usually it's the 4-2-3-1 but usually this squad is able to sort of build around him in the double pivot as, as the box to box midfielder uh, and then to use players like Oshiman, uh, who have great running ability in and behind the defenses, uh, but can also dribble and can also hold up play. Uh, although Jonathan Ikone is more of, I guess, the dribbler of this squad. But uh, to use players like uh, Oshiman and like Jonathan Bamba uh, and like Ikone uh, and to have them running behind and create a lot of space for the players, uh, it really, really does help uh, for Lille. And honestly, this team has been one of the more entertaining teams to watch. Uh, they've been fascinating essentially to see in Ligue 1 and obviously uh, they're still behind Bordeaux I think they're gonna probably end up behind is it Saint Etienne in the table uh, they're behind Marseille who are currently in second and have a little bit more space as well uh, and they're also still behind PSG who even though they are a game behind they are still top of the table handily so Lille still have a lot of work to do if they want to get back into that top uh, top three Champions League places discussion but got a big win over Lyon on the weekend got a big win once again during the midweek uh, defeating uh, breast and holding them to zero shots on target. So Victor Oshiman scoring the goal in the 16th minute off of a beautiful, beautiful ball played in by the dribbling ability by Jonathan Ikone. Uh, and Oshiman just tucked it into the bottom left corner. Uh, and despite a penalty mess, Lille, uh, really not worth much to worry about in the contest. But yeah, once again, guys, gotta let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on Ligue 1's, the sort of table setup currently at the moment of Ligue 1. What game are you guys most looking forward to on the weekend? Do you guys like the Friday night games? Uh, obviously, Inter and Roma are playing today. Uh, I think Ajax also played earlier today. So, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on those games down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, peace.